Good morning, everyone. How are you today? Today we're going to start with our lesson two with uh, code.org. Uh, our lesson today is called Swimming Fish with Sprite Lab. And our object for today is objectives, create a new sprites and assign for them costumes and behaviors. Okay, you're gonna know what's mean sprites. Our success criteria number one, create a program include one sprite. Means you need to complete till step three or practice number three to complete success criteria number one. Number two, to create a program with more sprites and assign behavior to them till step number seven. Means you need to complete till practice number seven to complete success criteria number two success criteria number three to create an advanced program with more blocks using sprites behavior events and actions this is in step number nine practice number nine it is free free to play actually you can create your advanced program with more uh, blocks sp using the sp spirits behavior events and actions Okay, we have a new vocabulary as well today. It's called Sprite. Sprite, guys, it means a character that you can add it to your program or an object on the screen that can be moved and changed. How are you going to move it and change it? Using the program. Okay, you need to program that character to let him move and doing action. Okay, Okay. before we start our lesson, I want to show you or remind you once again how you log in to code.org. If you remember in week 15, I just added here if you, for you. If you want to go log in here directly, you're going to click it and it will take you directly to code.org, uh, which class you are. Okay, here we have example 5BB. Okay, there is another way I show you many times inside the folder 15 or 16 today. I also I added in week 16 the same things. If you go inside week 16, you will find there is a link here. It's called login to code.org account. For each class you will find, for your class, you will find the link. You're going to click it. Then you need to click on the photo. It will show here. There is a photo. It will show in here. Then you click it. It will take you to your class. You're going to click in your name, then you need to click in your secret photo. If you forget your secret photo any times, where you need to go? To week 14, as I mentioned before for you, you need to go to week 14. Then you will find login cards for grade which class you are. If you open it, you're going to look for your name and find your, what, your secret photo. Okay, guys? Okay, now let's talk about the week 16. Week 16 here, guys, in folder. What are you going to find inside the folder? For sure, this video that I'm talking to you. Then you will find login to code.org. Uh, listen to assignment. You don't need to submit anything. It means it will show you here wh what you need to do exactly today. You need to follow these steps to complete your work. And you didn't need to submit anything because after you complete it, I can see your work. You didn't need to submit it. Also here, this link here takes you directly to the lesson two. If you click on it, it will take you directly to the lesson two after you log in to your account. Okay, this is the lesson two directly. Okay, guys. Um, what else in week 16? I, I told you before that you need in the end of the lesson, every lesson you need to give you feedback discussion about the lesson. It means you need to answer this three questions. Okay, the other thing is here to learn and practice more. If you are done with your work and you need to play more or practice more code.org, you're gonna click on this link and it will open more than thousands of coding games. Okay. Okay, if you don't want you don't know which one you need to select, this one it will be if you didn't use this one, you can use this one. Uh, it's good to practice for our uh, lesson okay guys 
Okay, now let's go to our lesson for today. This is the one, lesson two, Swimming Fish with Sprite Lab. In practice number one, you need to watch this video. Later on, you can press number one, then skip it to go to number two because you're already going to watch it now. Let's start, focus please, and watch this video together. science student. What I like about computer science is that it helps me develop my creativity and it also teaches me problem solving skills. This is Sprite Lab, a place where you can build imaginative and fun apps and other useful programs. This is a sprite. A sprite is something you can interact with like a character in a game or an object in a scene. With Sprite Lab, you can change different aspects of a sprite, like its costume, location, and color. You can also change how a sprite behaves on the screen. Sprites can also interact with you or each other. You can create a dance party, a virtual pet, or an entire world of creatures that do whatever you tell them to. Now you can spend some time exploring Sprite Lab and see where your imagination leads you. Okay guys, after we watch this video, we'll learn from here what is the sprite and what we can do with it. We can change the behavior of that sprite and we can change the move the sprite from somewhere to another place. We can do another, many things, right? Very good. Okay, now let's go to practice number two and start practicing the how to add a sprite, how we can change the sprite. Okay, practice number two here is telling you you need to answer a question here. Make a prediction. What do you think will happen when you press run? Now I cannot press run because until I need to answer, I need to answer the question. You see here we have like uh, weeds or something like that. And here there is a behavior, it's called sprite. What this is this color here actually this is the behavior for this sprite. Okay. The sprite start what begins tampling. Means guys, min tampling it means what? Rotating. Okay, you're gonna write here start tampling because as we know here begins tampling. After you rewrite what is going to happen, then you can click what? Run. Okay, exactly. This is what happened. Okay, and we are done. You can click what? Finish. Then you can click continue to go to the practice number three. Okay, in practice number three here, he asked you to change. Let's make a fish tank. We need to make a fish tank. I'm going to remove whatever I did here because I have done this one before. Let me delete whatever I did. Okay, then let me do it. Now, let's make it a fish tank. Change the tumbleweed uh, sprite into any kind of fish by clicking this. He's telling you click here to change the, uh, the sprite. From here, I'm gonna select what? A fish sorry is not showing yes here we go then you can select any kind of fish that you like I changed it to fish okay now if there is a behavior here right spinning right the behavior is still the tumbleweed I need to change it also the same character he's asked telling you here be sure to also update the sprite costumes in sprite okay now let's click run and we are completed Okay, we are done number three. In number four, what we need to do? Okay, here we go. We are in step number four. Here is asking us the fish is getting dizzy because it was spinning. Change the fish behavior so it so that it, it will swim left and right. How we can change the behavior, guys? means I'm gonna take out this behavior here this is the part which is behavior we're gonna take spinning right delete it 
then I can take this another behavior here begin swimming left and right if you click run and we are done number four okay guys now we need to complete all the puzzles till number nine in number nine you can free to play you can add more fish you can add more things okay you can add more sprites as you can you can change the backgrounds i want to show you here number six for example it will giving you uh, a more things you have here something called world you can change the background color uh, here sprites can add make a new sprite in that and different position guys just if i'm gonna add this one another a new fish here okay but in this is the position if you click this one here you can change where the fish want to be located in your fish tank okay it means if you want to change the location of the first one also the red one from here you're gonna click it and change the location of it okay here after you add another sprite you can also add a behavior to it by taking this one sprite begins what also you can take another things here swimming to right left and right okay um these all the things okay i want you to use all these things when you reach to number nine as well you're gonna use it also in different puzzles here when you complete each one is you need to read the instruction what you need to do and do it please okay guys if you stuck anywhere during you when you are doing this work please send me tell me listen to and puzzle number seven puzzle eight i don't know how to do it just send me a message on schoology in case you uh you stuck with it okay guys Okay, see you later. Thank you. Bye.